So let's get started with the Keep Key. Launch the Chrome browser and then navigate to keepkey.com slash support slash get dash started. We've launched the Keep Key application and now we're going to initiate uh, a new Keep Key wallet. Okay, so it's going to ask us to label this again, anything you want. Okay, so it's going to scramble the numbers on, on the Keep Key device screen, and we're going to match that up with the pin that we want to use. So we're going to select one, two, three, four. We're going to confirm that. Okay, so this is where the big dis display of the Keep Key makes things easy. It's displaying uh, all 12 backup words on the screen at once. So instead of having to cycle through them, it's going to display them all. And we're going to note these down. Okay, so I, I've done that and I've visually uh, double checked it. And I'm going to click select. And okay. So now it's actually generating the deterministic wallet. And then it'll give us our accounts. So by default, it creates a wallet address for Bitcoin SegWit. And what we want to do is we want to add a account for Bitcoin Cash. So we're going to go to the lower right. And we're going to select Bitcoin Cash as the type of coin. And we'll give it a name. All right, so there's our Bitcoin Cash. So if I want to send funds there, we would select uh, Receive Bitcoin Cash. Now you notice it'll it'll display that address and the QR code both on the computer screen and on the Keep Key device. So it's very important when sending um, when sending funds and receiving funds to compare the addresses that they match. So usually, if you you know just confirm the first few digits and the last few digits and if they're all the same then you know you have the same address well let's make an ether address pedro so now we go down and, and select ethereum give it the account a name so now all these different coins are tied to the same deterministic wallet type for all of these which means if you just uh, wipe the device and recreate it and restore your seed, you'll get all your wallets back. So let's go on ahead and send the keep key uh, some ETH. Boom, there it is. Now that we've received some Ethereum, we can, uh, we can select transactions and it'll actually uh, show you some information, um, the transaction ID. Clicking details will take you to etherscan.io. So now that we have some uh, Ether in our keep key wallet, let's go on ahead and, and show how to send. So here we're going to paste the NeoCash Ethereum donation address. So now when sending, it's going to actually challenge you for your pin. So just like when we unlocked it before, it scrambles the numbers on the keep key device. It needs me to confirm the transaction by physically pressing a button and that prevents people from hacking code to, um, you know, give an okay without a, a physical connection. So it's telling me here how much I want to send and where I want to send it to. So this again is where you can compare the address that you have on the computer to the address that's being displayed on the keep key and they need to match. If they don't match, then your, your computer has been compromised. So I'm going to push and hold this button. Okay. So now it prompts me again. Are you sure, you know, do you want to send this transaction? So the previous screen showed the amount and now it's uh, sending the fee. It's, it's displaying the fee. I push and hold. And that transaction has now been broadcast. KeepKey supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, and Doge. There is beta support for ERC20 Ethereum tokens. Mm -hmm.